It's Tom and Todd's Face Off on WRKO.com. We have entered the lovely month of March. That means the weather's going to get better, and we have the best Tom and Todd show for you right now confusing on WRKO.com. Obama and Duvall have been heaping praise on Romney over the last couple days. Are they doing this to hurt his presidential chances? Absolutely, positively. <laughs> they are doing this to hurt Mitt Romney. What and a they're having, silly question. They're having the time of their lives doing it. This is what passes for great humor in politics. You kind of wrap your arms around somebody and say how much you love them and what they did. And you know that your embrace of them is killing them with their crowd. Yeah. This is the greatest game of all time. Yep. And they're laughing all the way to the piggy if bank. If those two are speaking, they're either doing an awful manipulation or lying outright. 99% <laughs> of the time it's lying outright. In this case, they're doing a manipulation, and they love it because they get to act their characters. Their characters are loving, compassionate, oh. caring about people while they're sticking knives in everybody's back. What backs. Mitt did case, for the people? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor Mitt. He is <laughs> demanding a retraction. But it's his own fault. He's the one who did the stupid socialized medicine here in Massachusetts. Has Obama overstepped his authority by getting involved in Wisconsin? Well, Obama has no authority, but he is way out of line involving himself. He's doing this, of course, because the Democrats don't represent America. He does not represent America. He represents his political base. The most important base to Democrats is their partners, the unions. So instead of stepping in and saying, oh, Scott Walker, great job. Let's not have those nasty signs with Hitler mustaches or call him Mussolini. He says, oh, we have to protect the unions. That's because that's all he cares about. There's an interesting, it's his flow of money and support. There's an interesting contrast here. He was quick to jump into this local issue. And I understand it has national implications. But he jumped into this, silent about Tunisia, silent about Egypt, silent for the longest time about Libya, Iran, silent a year ago year. about Iran in 2009. I'll Just silent, silent, silent until uh, there's, we'll this kind of a, that. there's a sweet spot for him where he can say, oh, let me show my love and affection for my union brothers and sisters. Uh, kind of a, really a discombobulated we guy. We call him Momar Obama. Donald Rumsfeld was on the show on Tuesday, an interview that can be heard on the Tom and Todd Audio On Demand page. What were your impressions? I think it was one of our best. Todd did a fabulous job. Rumsfeld, great guest, really great guest. We did a half hour, no commercials. You've got to listen to this. You can get it on the podcast, go to the web page, and all the rest of that stuff. It is great. This guy served a number of presidents in high missions. I don't buy everything he said, but I just thought it was one of the best bits of radio we've done in a long, long time. The reason Tom feels that way is because, and particularly he was happy with me, is because I was nice and respectful and didn't challenge him on anything and let him pretend to be a good, good guy, which is what that we're supposed plus to do. Well, when he comes to people. Boston, he and I are going to play golf. We, so hope. I mean, <laughs> we, hope. we hope you can keep up with I him can if that happens. I can keep up with the running. I think so. Huh? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's face off. Give us another three months, the weather will be better, and the face offs will be just as good. It's Tom and Todd.